The hit TLC show 90 Day Fiancé is currently airing its ninth season, but many of the couples featured over the years have parted ways. Many franchise fans are curious as to which season 9 pairs will stick it out and which incompatible duos will go their separate ways. However, 90 Day Fiancé fans might not be aware of the current divorce count among the couples featured in the first eight seasons. Although 90 Day Fiancé Season 1 has a flawless success rate when it comes to couples staying together, many of the seasons since have seen breakups. A number of franchise couples have broken up since the pandemic started, though some parted ways long before then. Although some divorces were quiet and amicable, there have also been some explosive blow-ups and separations. Some exes remain on bitter terms, while others have formed surprising friendships since splitting up. Other cast members have chosen to maintain their privacy after leaving the franchise. Devout 90 Day Fiancé fans have been able to follow the progression and dissolution of relationships in further franchise content. Spin-off shows such as 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, have shown couples breaking up and moving on to date new people. Meanwhile, the franchise spin-off show 90 Day, The Single Life has featured many newly single franchise cast members looking for love again. The spin-off show has led to the formation of a number of new relationships in the franchise. Ymir Castillo Chelsea Masek Ymir Castillo and Chelsea Masek from Season 2 are one of the earliest couples to divorce, as no Season 1 pairs are separated as of now. Ymir and Chelsea quietly filed for divorce in 2017. Ymir remained in Chicago and continued working on his music. Meanwhile, Chelsea went on to happily remarry. Danielle Mullins Muhammad Jabali Danielle Mullins and Muhammad Jabali from 90 Day Fiancé Season 2 are one of the most chaotic couples in the entire franchise. Their marriage went up in flames on Happily Ever After, while Danielle went on to seek love on The Single Life. Surprisingly, Danielle and Muhammad are currently on friendly terms. The former twosome even spent some time together as friends recently. However, their romance is decidedly over. Jason Hitch Cassia Taveras Jason Hitch and Cassia Taveras from Season 2 separated in 2017 before filing for divorce in 2018 following Jason being charged with domestic violence. Their divorce case was later dismissed before Jason filed for divorce again, which led to their marriage officially ending in October 2018. Jason died from COVID-19 in December 2021. Cassia is currently traveling the world with her fitness trainer partner. Mark Nikki Shoemaker Notorious Season 3 Couple Mark and Nikki Shoemaker had a highly concerning marriage, as a teenage Nikki, from the Philippines, is nearly four decades younger than Mark. Viewers remained concerned for Nikki's safety for years until it was shockingly revealed that Mark filed for divorce from her in March 2022. However, Mark and Nikki are still legally married. Hardly anything is known about their marriage or separation. Fernando Carolina Verdini Fellow Season 3 Pair Fernando and Carolina Verdini are another franchise duo that separated. The couple faced many issues, including Carolina's homesickness for her native Colombia and accusations that Fernando cheated on his wife. Carolina later uncovered emails Fernando had sent to his ex-girlfriend after he denied being unfaithful. 
the former franchise couple is no longer together. George Nava Anfisa Arkipchenko like Danielle and Muhammad, season 4 former couple George Nava and Anfisa Arkipchenko are infamous in the franchise. The couple had an explosive marriage that went up in flames. Jorge has since entirely turned his life around. He lost close to 200 pounds while in prison and now shares two young children with his girlfriend Rhoda Blua. Meanwhile, Anfisa keeps her dating life extremely private. However, she is thriving as a fitness figure and remains popular on social media. Nicole Nafziger Azan Tefu Floridian Nicole Nafziger and Moroccan native Azan Tefu appeared in seasons 4 and 5 before the infamous duo officially ended their chaotic relationship. Nicole and Azan never made it down the aisle before their relationship came to an end. The couple appeared to have parted on relatively calm and quiet terms off-camera despite their earlier troubled relationship. Nicole and Azan each do not seem to have found lasting love since their split. Chantel Everett Pedro Jimeno Chantel Everett and Pedro Jimeno from 90 Day Fiancé Season 4 became franchise royalty due to their romance. The couple landed their own show, The Family Chantel, which is currently airing its fourth season as it shows the end of their marriage. Pedro filed for divorce from Chantel on May 27 after consistently mistreating her and completely checking out of their marriage. Both Chantel and Pedro have confirmed that their relationship cannot be saved. Many franchise fans have sided with Chantel in the divorce, as it is rumored that Pedro cheated on his wife. David Vasquez Zermeno Evelyn Cormier David Vasquez Zermeno and Evelyn Cormier from 90 Day Fiancé Season 5 parted ways at the end of last year. Many viewers were not surprised, as Evelyn was just a teenager when she married the older man. Evelyn Cormier has confirmed that her marriage to Spanish man David was not happy, as she alleged mental and emotional abuse. Fans feel that Evelyn and David's divorce was the right decision for them. Molly Hopkins Luis Mendez Molly Hopkins and Luis Mendez from 90 Day Fiancé Season 5 had another chaotic and memorable franchise marriage that was very short-lived. Molly has since refused to discuss her failed marriage. Luis moved on from Molly extremely quickly and married a woman in New Jersey, which appeared to be his goal all along. However, Luis and his new wife have since split. Molly went on to meet Brooklyn cop Kelly Brown on The Single Life, and the couple is currently dating. Kelly and Molly appear far more compatible, and he also gets along with her children. Ashley Martson J. Smith Ashley Martson and J. Smith from 90 Day Fiancé Season 6 had a messy marriage. J. was found on Tinder shortly after tying the knot. Ashley tried three times before successfully moving forth with their divorce. Though the duo then completely parted ways, they recently shared content together. Although Ashley is currently denying a romantic reconciliation, many franchise fans suspect that she is giving Jay another chance. However, viewers do not expect their relationship to work out. Colt Johnson Larissa Santos Lima 90 Day Fiancé Season 6 Couple Colt Johnson and Larissa Santos Lima are one of the most memorable franchise duos of all time. The former couple divorced following half a year of marriage after Larissa was arrested multiple times for domestic violence. 
Colt moved on to marry Vanessa Guerra after cheating on Jess Caroline with her, though Colt and Vanessa's marriage is currently in a critical state. Meanwhile, Larissa dated Eric Nichols for some time, though she is currently dealing with her botched plastic surgery and does not appear to be dating anyone at the moment. Jonathan Rivera Fernanda Flores Jonathan Rivera and Fernanda Flores from 90 Day Fiancé Season 6 appear to have split on bitter terms. Jonathan announced that he cancelled Fernanda's green card paperwork in 2019 after they separated following about half a year of marriage. Fernanda and Jonathan finalized their divorce in 2020, which led to Fernanda joining the Single Life cast. She now dates boxer Noel Michaelian. Jonathan moved on from Fernanda quickly and now has a new partner and a child. Kalani Fagata Asuelu Pala A 90-day fiancé season 6 couple Kalani Fagata and Asuelu Pala are still legally married, though they recently split up. Many viewers don't expect them to resolve their marriage. Kalani and Asuelu have always been very different people, which caused a strain on their relationship. Meanwhile, Asuelu's family has always disapproved of his wife. That makes their chances of a romantic reconciliation very slim. However, there is a chance they could mend things since they have two children together. Michael Yesen Juliana Custodio Michael Yesen and Juliana Custodio from 90 Day Fiancé Season 7 had an explosive split last year that shocked many viewers. Juliana revealed that she had a deeply unhappy marriage and quickly moved on to become engaged to German man Ben Obscura. Juliana just gave birth to her first child with Ben, while fans found Michael on a dating website recently. Tanya Maduro Singen Colchester Former 90 Day Fiancé Season 7 pair Tanya Maduro and Singen Colchester parted ways on The Single Life Season 2 in an emotional and tearful breakup. Though they still loved each other, the duo realized that they were incompatible. However, Tanya has since voiced accusations of misconduct against Singen after another woman came forward. Singen has yet to address the abuse allegations, nor does it seem likely that he will. Mike Youngquist Natalie Mordetseva 90 Day Fiancé Franchise Couple Mike Youngquist and Natalie Mordetseva split after Happily Ever After, Season 6 following several seasons of incompatibility and conflict. Natalie went on to seek love on the single life after she took off to Florida, though she is still looking for her next husband. Mike has also appeared to move on. However, he has yet to officially file for divorce from Natalie despite living in different states. He did make it clear that he no longer wanted to support Natalie in becoming a U. citizen or remaining in the States. Her status is currently unknown, though she lives in the U. S. Angela Dean Michael Alessandmi Rumor. The relationship status between franchise couple Angela Deem and Michael Alessandmi remains a messy mystery that will be clarified on Happily Ever After, Season 7, as the troubled twosome were just revealed to be appearing in the upcoming show's seventh season. However, Angela has been linked to a new man, though viewers have no idea what to believe. Many fans are frustrated that Angela and Michael cannot confirm their relationship status. It remains unclear whether or not Angela Dean has been with Michael for years or if she has been with the other man. 
Andrew Kenton Amira Lalisa Andrew Kenton and Amira Lalisa not only never made it down the aisle, but they never met up during their appearance on 90 Day Fiancé Season 8. After a disastrous failed attempt to meet in Mexico, Amira decided to stop trying. She later was linked to David Murphy, though he has since moved on. Andrew does not appear to be dating anyone at the moment. However, he made it clear that he did not break up with Amira on good terms. Stephanie Davison Ryan Carr Stephanie Davison and Ryan Carr broke up during 90 Day Fiancé Season 8. Stephanie then went on to pursue his cousin Harris. However, she is now planning a date with fellow franchise cast member Stephanie Matto after she bid on a date with her and Juan. Many 90 Day Fiancé fans did not anticipate the two women going on a date, though many believe they are doing so for attention.